Hi guys and welcome to uh, this little tutorial on how to use Seeing AI. Uh, my name's Gareth and I'm going to just talk you through it. This is a, a cool little app that's been about for a while now and you can use it on any Apple device and any Windows device or any Windows phone. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's to mark it on uh, Android. In fact, I'm pretty sure he, he can't get it on Android because they've got their own version called Lookout that's come out. Uh, that hasn't quite got as many features as this. Uh, so you can get it from the App Store, this one, and it's it's a great little little companion app to use on your phone uh, when you're out and about. Uh, it does lots of little features to it, and it's great for the visually impaired. Uh, so say they want to read a timetable of a bus or recognise people that they know. It does all them sort of things. Uh, so I'll open it up and get straight into it. So I'm just going to search for it. And there it is, seeing AI. Short, you must be. So I'm just going to pause it as we talk, because straight away it begins to talk. And you can have a look at the options at the bottom. So they got uh, uh, nine options to choose from. Uh, the first one is to do with short text. So it uses the camera in your device, and it will read some short text. So a good example is this spaghetti bolognese thing here. Uh, so... Basically, if I want to read some short text, I open it up. Spaghetti it pasta, comma, rogue, with a granado. C. Chai anti wine topped with cheese. Rarek vlid several times. Heat on full power. Microwave. Wheat. Water. Tomato. Preservatives. Potassium nitrate. Medium fat hard CH. Puree. Cornflour. W. Frozen. So 8 minus 3. Over the top, it should read anything that it hovers over. As as it gets memory until ago the smell of coventry massachusetts uh the document one's probably a little bit better so if you want a bit more control over it uh what you can do is say it's a letter or something that you oh, wish to document. document hold steady so this is for a file processing <laughs> couple of seconds okay so press play body font family Arial. Font size, 12 points, 3. Complete the on-screen setup using your Alexa voice remote. Okay. Right there, you can skip and you can pause it. You can even increase the font size slightly or decrease it. But you could use always use a pinch option that is available for most uh, touchscreen devices. Uh, you can also share it. So you can share the text. You can save it as an image. And you can, you can email it or put it on social media, etc. Okay, so I'm going to skip across to products. So product looks for barcodes. So it's handy little shopping uh, assistant. And you come across, you get a barcode. Such as Processing. Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream Fast Absorbing 75 megaliters. So it reads most barcodes of most products. And it uses the internet for that. So you can find out more information. Uh, so you need a Wi-Fi connection or you've got to use your data on your phone, for example. And you can find out more information about that, that product alongside it. Uh, so another product I've got here is the spaghetti. So... Processing. Tesco Finest Spaghetti Bolognese 400G. Okay, and again, tells you a little bit more about that product. Keep refrigerated. And you can play that information back as well with the person. Tesco play. Finest Spaghetti Bolognese 400G Keep Refrigerated. Which is handy if uh, you're visually impaired. One face near right edge, less than a meter, GT near center, less than a meter of, away. So you can recognize people. So I put myself down as GT. Or you can go, you know, you might be Bob, your neighbor. You take a picture of Bob and then you rename the name Bob. And then you can have a little address book of uh, familiar friends so you know who's GT a, near right edge, less than a meter not. away. And it tells you as you approach. Them. GT so near center, less than a meter away. On your phone or your portable device. Okay. You can also take a picture. GT near. GT near process. 40 year old man looking happy. There we go. A friend. GT near rock processing. 43 year old man with a beard looking sad. <laughs> okay. So I'm about 40 years old, so I'm mean, now I am 40 years old, so that's processing. Cool. Near and near enough, isn't it? And I've got a bit of a beard today, so that puts a year on me, doesn't it? Uh, currency. currency. 
so hopefully these notes are quite screwed up so hopefully it will recognize them so as you see at the bottom right there it does different currencies and it got it on the uk one at the moment 10 pounds there we go that's better i think if the background's quite busy it doesn't seem to pick it up as well so five pounds £20. Okay, so I'll have a look at the scene today. A bit messy, we're working from home, we're all in lockdown. At Processing. Computer An open laptop bank. computer sitting on top of a desk. Okay. Should we try a little bit over here? See if it recognises busier scene. Processing. Probably a bottle of wine sitting on top of a wooden <laughs> desk. I wish. Uh, shall we maybe have a look at, see if it picks up this guy? Okay, see if it recognizes who he is, what sort of animal it is. Processing. Probably a stuffed animal sitting on a desk. It's, 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 it's not ideal, but it's not bad. It's giving you a bit of an indication of what it possibly could be. As you can see, it recognizes black and brown. different colors. Green and black. Mm. Blue. Blue. Again, best, Blue and brown. best not to have it in a... Uh... Brown. Blue. In a busy environment. Brown and black. So we have a look. Gray. Brown. Brown and gray. Black. So my writing's awful, but hopefully it should pick it up. So you just got to take the picture of it, actually. Let me get it right. There we go. Little picture at the side. Processing. Garrett, hi, how are you? Okay, brilliant. And you can save that. And... The other thing that it's got as well, so if you've got no light perception uh, and you want to know whether you're in a dark room or a light room, it uses tones to do this. So the lower the tone, the darker uh, the room is or the object is, the lighter the tone, the lighter the room is. So light. again, so this is a good feature, say if you don't have light perception and you want to know where That's it. So thanks for listening to my little tutorial and I'll do a few more maybe about different apps uh, in the future. Uh, so yeah, take care and it's bye for now. Thank you. Bye bye.